good afternoon from Jakarta, Jakarta, Indonesia, of course. I am currently standing in front of the biggest mosque in Southeast Asia, the biggest masjid in Southeast Asia, known as Istik Masjid Istiklal. And it is absolutely uh, like amazing how big it is. I've never seen a mosque, never been in a mosque this big before. And it is really, really large. As you can see, this is the whole masjid here. It's like a whole campus almost. Uh, I'm gonna take you guys inside, um, but it's like overwhelmingly big. I don't even know if we'll be able to see all of it, but we will try our best to see everything. Um, but as you can see, this is the first time I've been in a masjid where literally there's like um, a whole like section and a campus where you can sit. There's people selling food out here. It's like a like literally on an island of its own, and it's amazing. Um, I've heard a lot about this uh, masjid when I came to Indonesia and I mean mashallah it's, 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 it's amazing, it's really beautiful so I'm gonna try to go inside and show as much as I can of it uh, guys like when I tell you this is really really big you're talking about this masjid has the capacity of fitting almost 200,000 people in it so you can only imagine Thank you brother yeah. <laughs> like YouTuber from where? Uh, I'm from the US US? Yeah. Okay. Come, take a picture. Hello. <laughs> this is the recorder? Uh, it's a uh, GoPro. GoPro. Yeah. Record. Yeah, recording. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So in here I'm um, tourist guide. Oh, you're a tour guide. Uh, so welcome to the Istiqlal Mosque. My name is Ali. I'm, I'm tourist guide. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm just like, looks in the behind of us. I mean, it's like they are have Istiqlal Mosque. Yes. Istiqlal means like independence in uh, English and stuff like that. Istiqlal was built on 1961 and was officially opened to the public on 1978. 1978. 78. So it took about almost 17 years. Almost 20 years to build it. 17 years. 17 for years. Build, yes. Okay. Very nice. And Istiqlal Mosque was built with Indonesian architect. The name of architect Frederick Selaban. Frederick Selaban is like was a professional architect what we have in Indonesia at that time. Okay. Uh, from the his hand, from Frederick Selaban hands is created for the three of important important building in Jakarta for example like Istiqlal Mosque and National Monument and then the Central Bank of Indonesia was created by So the him. architect was he an Indonesian guy? He's Indonesian he's okay. from North Sumatra. North Sumatra. But he, uh, the problems like he's from uh, the Protestant architect. Oh yeah. so he wasn't a Muslim. He, he's Protestant. Oh okay yeah, okay. But that's cool to know that uh, yes. they allowed uh, somebody who was not a Muslim to design the mosque. Yes. It shows the brotherhood. Yes. Yeah. Because you know, at the time, they have the, uh, the competition architect uh, from the five of religion. Because in, in Indonesia, we have the five of religions. Okay. We have the Muslim, Catholic, Protestant, Hindus, and Buddhist. Buddhist yeah. And five of them is like make a lot of competition for the credit of the mosque. Of the mosque. Like okay. For design. Okay. So that's why I'm like from the design, I'm just like. The first president's Karno is just like the Frederick Slaban design okay. from the Protestant architect okay. because the budget is low and also the, uh, the design is really cool. Uh, like yeah, well he did a great job as you can see the mosque is really beautiful guys so so this is the main gate. This is main gate. Okay. I mean it's like the, for the normal visitor yeah. actually they are, they are closed for for holiday, for okay. Today. But if you are Muslim, you just tell them okay. I'm Muslim. Okay. And I want to pray. Yeah. Yeah. And in the side of the pray also before the pray, I want to a little bit uh, yeah. explore about okay. the mosque. So, okay. so we're gonna enter the mosque now. I'll yeah. check in with you guys in a second. Alrighty, guys. So this is how it looks when you first enter. Everything is made of like granite. This is like marble, right? Marble. Yeah, marble. White marble. Yeah. Very beautiful. As 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 upon entering. Yes. And really, really, really big. Really, this is yes. the this is the biggest mosque I've ever this been to. This is the largest mosque in the southeast Asia. Southeast number Asia. third biggest mosque in the world. Number three? Number three in the world. I read somewhere that it's number six. Number three. Number three. Number three. The first one in Mecca, second one in Madinah, third one is Istiqlal Mosque. Istiqlal Mosque have a capacity of the people 200,000. 200,000. Wow. In full capacity. Wow. And that's between the inside and the outside of the mosque, or only the? No, only in the inside. Only in the inside. Inside, and then we have the two of the giant terrace. One uh, giant terrace have capacity 25,000 people. 25,000 people. For two terrace is about 50,000 and from the main praying hall until five floor is 150,000. Wow. In total 200,000 people. 200,000 people guys. Sometimes do you, more. Do you know how many people that is? <laughs> and when you walk here you can feel how big it is. You yeah. know, 
I mean, each hallway is so <laughs> wide. Each each uh, the entrance, the gates are big, so you know, like you can really feel the fact that they can fit two hundred thousand people in here. But still, the number two hundred thousand is is just it's mind blowing. I've wow. never been in a mosque this big before, and totally. it's really really beautiful. Wow, guys, look at this. This is so yes. big. big. You have all of this, and when you look down. The, peop the people look so small because the place is so big. So big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, let me explain about it. Yeah. Okay, guys, welcome to Isikal Mosque. Now we are inside part of the mosque. Yeah. And look at the, in here, we have the pillars or columns. Yeah. Yes, we have the 12 columns here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. Uh, the 12 of the columns representing for the birthday of Muhammad because our Prophet Muhammad, the messenger of the God in Islam, was born on 12 Rabiul Awal. So that's yes. why in 12 Rabiul Awal representing for so the, the 12, 12 of columns the columns. Represent yes. the birth uh, uh, of the Muhammad. birth date of Prophet Muhammad. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And then look upstairs, we have the dome. Wow. The diameter of the dome is 45. 45. 45. The diameter of the dome? 45 meters. Meters. Yes. Wow. 45 meters. The sign for Independence Day of Indonesia oh because Indonesia getting independent on 17th of August 1945 45 meter meaning for the years of independence, for the years of independence. Yes. okay so the 45 meters within the dome represents the year the years of, of, independence. of independence for the country of Indonesia yes got it yes. very nice so I have a quick question yes so when you say 200,000 people mm -hmm. does that mean in this all, area entire, only all. I mean it's like in here this from the ground floor at this five level Okay, it's so, 150,000. So people will pray here on all of. Okay, yes. now does this mosque ever get full capacity? Yeah. When? Usually and, during and, Ramadan and, and every, or every uh, Juma time or Friday? Every Juma. Yeah, every Juma. It's full. Oh, yes, full. Wow. At 200,000 people. That's amazing. <laughs> at the Friday at 12 p.m. and every Ramadan time and the last one is every each Ramadan. Each Ramadan. Uh, eight, every eight Mubarak, day. Sorry. Eight oh, Mubarak Eid, okay. and then Ramadan time and then Friday. Every Friday. every Eid day, uh, every Eid Ramadan, day, every Jumat, and, and Ramadan, and, and Ramadan in yes. general. Wow, yeah. wow, guys, they really pack it to capacity on on almost. He's saying every Jumat, which is amazing. I mean, yes. that means you have people coming from all over Jakarta all to come Jakarta. to yes. pray here in this yes. mosque. Yeah. Wow, wow, mm -hmm. guys. Uh, when I tell you, um, video can only do so much to show you this, uh, but when you stand here in person and really look at it. Yeah. It's uh, it's like uh, it makes gives your body the chills, you know. Like yeah. you feel like, wow, yeah. I can't believe how amazing this if is. You know, standing. I really love the ceiling too. Yeah. This uh, like the lighting on the ceiling. The lighting. Yeah. And yeah. also in the mosque we have no windows. We have like lots of the ventilation because of what? Because when the people getting full like hundred and fifty thousand inside, a lot of they are not breathing. Warm. Yeah. Yes, they're still yeah. breathing. So so so, like so there's no like. <laughs> in closed windows everything yes. is open everything is open yeah so yes. i mean yeah guys you know obviously when you have 200,000 people in one place you have to make account for that yes. you know um mm. the, if everybody's breathing you know obviously it's going to get very hot yeah. so but this masjid you can feel the breeze actually when you stand here um it feels cool you don't you yeah. don't get too hot because um i guess the way they designed the yeah. ventilation on the on each side of the mosque you can see um, it keeps the air flowing so you don't have to worry about it getting too hot in here yeah very yes. nice yeah guys this is if I could just kind of show you how beautiful this is it is like it's I mean I I have the chills when I walked in here um, I literally felt like whoa I've never been in a mosque this big I mean I'm sure if you've done Hajj or Umrah or if you've been to Masjid Al Haram in uh, Saudi, it's bigger than it's the only it's the only one, and the one in Mecca and Medina are the only ones that are bigger than this. Yes. Yeah. And this one is number three. This is number three in the world. In the world. So, it's really, really, really amazing to stand in here, guys. Yes. Yeah. And if you have the chance to come to Jakarta, even if you're not Muslim, you can come check this out. And if you are Muslim, come here for Juma, make Salat here, and just feel the the vibe that you get when you walk in here. Alrighty guys, so here we are. This is okay. the main courtyard. Main courtyard. In it here is we huge. Have like huge. It is like so big. Yeah. <laughs> you can you can run in a circle and be tired probably. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> in here like uh, we have the two of 
This is like terrace. Yeah. Uh, the function of the terrace when the people getting food inside, they are moved to the terrace. Yeah. Yeah. Get a break in here. Okay. We, in here we have the two of the terrace. First one here, and the second one in the opposite side is like for men, and this one is it's for, for women. women. Yeah. And it's the same size. Yeah, same size. Same yeah. size. Okay. And this terrace have capacity people to have 20, 25,000 people for one terrace. For two terrace is about the 50,000 people. Ooh. And then inside 150,000 from the ground floor until five levels. So yeah. in total 200,000. Wow. And then there we have the minaret. It's about uh, 6,666 the tall, a uh, centimeter of the taller of the mosque. Representing the, the uh, Representing for the first in Quran, 6,666 uh, first in uh, Quran. And so that's like the where they where the adhan when they make the adhan, you can hear it from there. Yeah, the speakers can, are yes, there. Yes. Okay, wow, yes. that's amazing. Yes, guys, that is really really tall. Yeah. Um, it's 6, uh, 666 66 centimeters. Centimeters. Yeah. Okay. So about 666 meters. No. No. 666 Six, meters. 66 meters. Sorry, my math is not yes. good. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> math is not my subject. Yeah. <laughs> so what is this? This is like the. Um, it's like uh, mimbar. Where the, where the imam. Mimbar. mimbar for imam. Or spe special stage or small stage for imam. Okay. When in the special time, imam be standing on here uh, to speak for the people about the religions. Okay. And stuff like okay. Yes. So like maybe the khutbah on jamaat. Yeah. Like that, yeah. Okay. Got it. Got it. So when they do like Friday prayer, the, the imam can stand there and so, and give like his uh, right. speech about yeah. whatever he may be speaking about that day. Yeah. 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 Guys, this hallway is super long. Like. If you if you wanted to jog this back and forth, you would be tired and yeah. sweating. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just trying to give you guys an idea because sometimes in video, you don't you're not able to tell how big something is. Yes. Because like in person, when we stand here, you can feel it. Mm -hmm. But in the video, sometimes it doesn't it doesn't really show like True. how big it is. So right. I'm trying to describe it for the people. You know how big it is. Yeah. <laughs> so you said the building of this mosque actually started in 19, 1961. 1961. Yeah. Okay. And so it took 17 years 17 to build. 17 years for the mosque so with the cost one million US dollar at the 1961. One billion. One million US dollar. Only one million. Yeah, one million. Yes. Really? At, at 1961. Oh well, yeah. I guess that would be like 100 million now, right? Yeah. yeah. So, but I'm sure with renovations over time, it's become in the billions at this point. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, it's really, I mean, amazing. And the fact that it took 17 years, guys, just shows you how big it is. And so, at the time, obviously, the machinery and stuff wasn't like it is now to to build so they must have had a lot of man labor here yeah. to to help build this i'm yeah. sure it was a lot of muslim people that participated to to build this to, to be part it. of this yes, yes, so, yes so they can have the pride that they that they were a part of the building of the largest one of the largest mosques in the world yeah yeah yeah, true. yeah, yeah. 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 awesome awesome guys yeah so i'm gonna uh make a lot here because I don't know if I'll ever get a chance to come to this beautiful place again, so I want to take advantage of it while I'm here. But Adi, thank you so much. You're welcome, I'm going to take your WhatsApp You're information, welcome, yes. and when I sure. put up the video, sure. I'm going to put your information sure. in there. And guys, if you need a good tour guide, if you come to this masjid, or if you need somebody around Jakarta, again, you can hit up my boy Adi. He's really helpful, very resourceful. So yeah, guys, uh, just did a quick prayer in there, and uh, really, I mean, really nice tour by... Uh, Mr. Adi, um, as I stated, I will leave his information in the bio. But really, I mean, anytime you come to structures like this that are, you know, largest in the world or something, or, you know, one of the most large, one of the most grand, um, you know, you really feel it. And it's really a blessing to be here and to be able to experience this beautiful mosque and uh, place of worship. And guys, if you ever come to Jakarta, you don't, like I said, doesn't have, you don't, even if you're a non-Muslim, it's one of the things that you should come and see. It's um, spectacular and, and really it's something that you shouldn't miss out on. Now, I just wanted to show you how close the cathedral is from here. So as you can see, the mosque is right behind me, right here. And then the cathedral is right here. So. You know, it's really nice to see that just because like it shows you that, um, you know, the the brotherhood between Islam and Christianity or any other uh, religions, you know, I mean, the world pins us against each other. But really, the truth is that we're all brothers. We're all uh, in this together. And whatever religion or creed or whatever you may follow, um, you know, we should all 
really come together and, and the fact that people can coexist like this is, uh, is a beautiful thing. Look at this cool police truck here. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, look at this, it's like a police SWAT truck. Really cool. But yeah, so right across the street you have, um, so outside you have a bunch of vendors selling things, obviously. Uh, as you heard the man say, this place actually gets to full capacity on Jummah, uh, which is Friday, the day of worship. Um, so you can only imagine, you do need, definitely need some food stands and things like that. What's your uh, name? Hello, my name is Meyer. Assalamu alaikum. So yeah guys, this is known as the uh, Church Emmanuel. Um, and thank you brother, thank you. And you have a uh, really beautiful structure. I don't know if I can go inside there, but um, just wanted to show you guys the proximity. M-Y-E-R. Yeah. <laughs> they have some fried stuff here, some fried dishes, some fried goodies. Assalamu alaikum brother. How are you? How are you? They got some fried stuff here. I don't know what this is, but... Um, hey, hello. Uh, let's see what else they got around here. Maybe we can get some... Toprak. I don't know what Toprak is. I've never tried Toprak. What is Toprak? Nasi? Yes, Nasi. Nasi and? And what else? Nasi and Toprak. What's Toprak? Toprak. Mau. Indonesian food. Indonesian food. Lo What? What is it like? What is Toprak? Is it meat? Ayam? Daging? Mi ayam daging no. Mi ayam. Huh? Egg, egg. Egg. Oh, okay, I will try. Yeah. Oh. Berapa? One. Dua puluh. Twenty. Dua puluh? Yes. Okay. Dua puluh. Okay. Yeah, guys. Chili. Huh? Chili. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spicy, spicy. Sambal. 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 So, um, I'm gonna get some toprak. I never tried toprak before, actually. This is my first time. I don't know what it is, um, but... That's what I like to do. I just like to try random foods. I'll show you guys what it is though. We should just take some rice. Nasi? Yeah, nasi. Nasi? Yes. Oh, like rice cake. Yeah, mm. rice cake. Rice cake. Ah. This is your restaurant? You? Your restaurant? No. Uh, your restaurant? Don't No. No? <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. Turkey. Turkey? Yes. Me? No, Pakistani. Oh, Pakistani. Yeah. Oh, this is Tobrak. Yes. Oh, so they take some rice cake, some potatoes, some eggs, and I don't know what this is. What is this? Uh, tahu. Tahu? Yeah. Yes. I don't know tahu. I don't know tahu. You don't know? Kalai. Kacang. Pernet. Pernet kedelai. What is tahu? Do you know what tahu is? Topak. Topak? What is it? <laughs> no problem. So here we have some topak. Toprak? Toprak. Toprak. Okay, very nice. So they put some like some shrimp crackers. And you have some egg. As you can see, open it up. You got some spicy sauce in here. And then this rice cake. This is rice cake. And you have some potato. And I don't know what this is. Let's try this. Tahu. Tahu. Oh, tofu. Yeah, tofu. Tofu. So this is tofu, guys. Tofu. And rice. Tofu, rice cake, and uh, potato. <laughs> oh, oops. Oops. Mm. Very good. Oh, very good. I like it. Yes, okay. Very nice. The, the sauce actually tastes like um, the sauce that they use for uh, roti kanai. A little bit similar like that. Um, it's um, tofu. So this thing, this thing here is a tofu, which I didn't try. And then they give you some egg as well and some potato. It's actually really good, guys. Uh, it's called Topra, T O P R A K. Hmm. 
the sauce actually tastes a little bit like a, a Thai curry as well. Like, like a Thai red curry. And then you can eat it with some these chips as well. But yeah, very good. So look guys, I see everybody doing this here in Indonesia. And it, and it looks so easy, but when I try to do it, I can't do it. See? I can't even do it. You show, show. Look at how this guy does it. He makes it look so easy. Watch this. Wow. Professional. See yeah, guys. Finished up this food. It's very good. Actually, you can even eat the soup. It's very yummy. It's like a like a yellow Thai curry almost. It's a it's a bit spicy. And uh, the potatoes, the tofu, and uh, rice cake, all of it complements each other really well inside of this amazing sauce. Highly recommend trying it. <clears throat> I really, really love the sauce actually. It's actually one of the, nice, the nicer things I've tried here. For me though, all Indonesian food has been pretty good. Um, I've enjoyed most of it. Uh, I don't think there was anything that I really just didn't like to be honest with you so yeah guys I'm gonna finish this up so this is costing me about 20,000 for the uh, dish so that's about like a dollar and 20 cents I mean once again food here is like the cheapest thing all right guys now I'm doing my favorite activity riding through the city on the back of a bike it's always fun when you're on the back because then you don't have to worry about driving and you can actually look at the views which is what I'm doing, driving through the city. So this area is like uh, central Jakarta. And the mosque is right there that we just saw, that I just showed you. Oh, this guy's crazy. Yeah, guys, one thing about here, and I think I've mentioned this countless amount of times, the traffic here is nuts uh, as far as like how people drive. Um, but I managed to drive here safely, thank God, but, you know, um, if you're not comfortable driving, I wouldn't do it here. 